so little, isn't she? You forget how little. All I could think about was sorting that wedding out. What does any of it matter compared to her? You want to know. Well, I shouldn't know not to trust David with the most precious thing I've got. Well, if anything happens to her... You won't. A little fighter, like her mum. Stubborn, as they call her. Hiya. I'd hoped that the doctor says she's stable. Oh, wow. That's great news, isn't it, lovey? Hmm? Brought some magazines. <sighs> Stupid, really. I, mean, I don't know why I bought magazines. I mean, you're not going to be reading, would you? Your mum sends her love. Did you tell her Daryl's part in this? Yeah, she's going to see Jerry later. Good. What? Is your Daryl in? No. Do you know when he'll be back? No. How's Bethany? She's not great. I'm sorry. Um, I'll tell him you're looking for him. Shakespeare's day, they would have put out nothing as noting. Right. So the real title would have been Much Ado About Noting. And noting also meant keeping an eye out, you know, noticing everything. And that's what all the characters do, you see? It's they're clever. Mm. Me thinks thou just take no note of me. What? Oh, forget it. What do you want for your tea? Uh, out. Shakespeare in turn in his grave. Liz! Liz! <laughs> Liz! <laughs> what? No. What? I can't come back to bed with you because Violet will be here any minute. No, no. <laughs> no, 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 it's not that. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right, we're just chatting. Do you want a cup of tea? I'll have it in the bar. Yeah, can we ban the staff from coming into our private quarters? Oh, Vernon, I would love to. But then we have to stop doing food. The kitchen's through there. Well, can we put a, a bolt on the door at least? Right. Anyway, listen. Now, you I... can make the tea, can't you? I've got to go give that up. No, hang on. H hang on. I've, I've got something that I, I want to say. I'll book the registry office. You're kidding. <laughs> Guess when for? <laughs> New Year's Eve. It's symbolic of our new life together. You are kidding. No. What, why? Well, it's our busiest day. We need all hands on deck. Besides which, you'll be half cut, and so will all the wedding guests. Fine. I'll change it. You know what I mean, though, don't you? Oh, yeah, sure. Forget romance. What's that compared to practicalities? Vernon! Uh, tell you about your Beth, is she all right? She took one of the E's. What? I mean, I, I just left her alone for one minute. I walked in and, and she's in the car. What do you mean she took one of the E's? I thought you hid them. I did. She found them. It was awful. I mean, she started having fits and then they came in and they were asking me if she'd taken anything. They went on and on how important it was for them to find out whether she had. I mean, I had to tell them what it was. Well, yeah, yeah, of course she did. So how is she now? She's unconscious. Oh, flaming hell. How did she get hold of them? Where did you put them? In one of her dolls. You what? I, I, I mean, it, it was out of the way and she never put You idiot! Bit. I know, I know, I know how stupid it was and I'm sorry, but... Darrell, I've done something else stupid and all. 
what? I've told them they were yours. Excuse me. Excuse me, how long does it take to make a cup of coffee? Is that one of them jokes? Is that what? You know, like, how many people does it take to change a light bulb? No. Okay. So do I get an answer? Look, knowing how long it's going to take ain't going to make it happen any quicker, is it? So you may as well just wait. Now, Lloyd, this is becoming very irritating. Because yesterday I had to wait for a sandwich and today I have to wait for a coffee. Yeah, I, I, I'm afraid that the kettle does take a little longer than the urn, but it, it does mean that we don't have to waste a ridiculous amount of energy <sighs> keeping a vast quantity of water constantly heated. No, Roy, but it means I have to waste a ridiculous amount of time waiting for it. Do you know, you'd do well to examine your own carbon footprint. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I know that already, Roy. It's a size 10. <laughs> oh, yes, that's it. That's it. Let's make a joke of it. It's far easier than having a conscience or, God forbid, actually doing something about it. Oh, come on, Roy. I'm just... Oh, don't come on me! With your freezers humming away all day and your, and your shelves full of plastic and tins. Do you know, it is the attitude of people... No, the lethargy of people like you that is killing this planet. Gail? Hey, is Bethany all right? Well, she's uh, still unconscious, so we don't really know. Oh, poor thing. Oh, if there's anything we can do. Oh, absolutely. of yourself, are you? Putting a little girl in hospital. Dare you bring drugs into my house? Mother, How mother. dare you threaten my family? I have done all wrong. Think it's cool, do you? Selling drugs, do you? Come with me now to the hospital. Come and see my Bethany lying on a ventilator and tell me it's cool! Hey, hey, what's going on? He's the one that put Bethany in hospital. He sold drugs to our David. Is this true? No. Look, Mum, it, it went all to do with him, all right? I made it up. You told me. Yeah, I know, but I panicked. I mean, it was the first thing that came into my head. I'm sorry. Get in there! Now! You too. Covering for you, was he? No. But they aren't mine. So who's worthy, then? Oh, I see. You're being loyal to your mates. Listen, you. If you don't pull through, I will march you down to the police station. And if I ever find out you've had anything to do with drugs, the same applies. Got it? Yeah. I've not finished with you yet. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get off. Sorry, Eileen. No, no, no. It's all right. I'll uh, see you later. I don't care where you got the drugs from. I don't care whether you're lying or telling the truth. All I care about is what you've done to Beth. Well, I mean, she's going to be all right. I mean, she can't... She's still unconscious. They're saying she's stable. Don't you dare look relieved. For all we know, she could be brain damaged. Would that be any better? Can you live with that for the rest of your life? It were an accident. I never meant it. And that makes it better, does it? Mrs. Platt? Yes. DC Tandy. I'm going to your son, David. You'd better come in.
David Platt, I'm arresting you on suspicion of possession of a Class A drug. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Were you able to search these premises under Section 32 of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act? You can come with them if you like. No, thank you. Mum, I want to be here for my daughter. Mum! <sighs> That's why you sit on the bench to eat when your husband runs a cafe. Is it a little girl? She's a goddaughter, isn't she? Oh, yeah, yeah, I am, I am a bit worried about her. We never stop worrying about them. Even when they're grown up. You've got a son back in Poland, haven't you? Yes. Jakub. <laughs> He's 21. <laughs> <laughs> what does he do? Oh, he's at university. That's why I'm here, to help pay for his education. You must miss him. All the time. Hey. What? You're right. It would be dead romantic. So let's go for it. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh maybe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I will be stone cold sober. Right. <laughs> this is mad, all right? I'm, I'm not a drug dealer, OK? And it was just one lousy pill. One lousy pill? You make it sound like it doesn't matter, David. Like it hasn't put your niece in hospital. I didn't mean that. What if she dies, David? Well, she won't. Don't you want the person who gave it to you to pay? It wasn't their fault, all right? It was my fault for leaving it so that she could, she could get her hands on it. Let's hope she doesn't die, eh? Because if she does, it won't just be possession you're looking at. Be a charge of manslaughter. It's a brother you want to be speaking to, not us. Oh, Mum, please tell her. What's going on? I'm from Children's Services. She's come to check on Bethany. I just have to make sure that she's safe and that this isn't going to happen again. It won't. David's been arrested. Oh, good. I hope you never let him out. Sarah, your daughter's come round. Mummy's here. Mummy's here. I love you. This is great. Honestly? Yeah. You've really nailed the differences between them. Beatrice is really strong and feisty compared with Hero, who's much more passive. Yeah, because I suppose that Hero's a victim, really, isn't she? Yeah, you're not kidding. You know, her father and her fiance treat her like some sort of puppet. Do this, do that. But the thing is, that's the way men treated women, then. Oh, yeah, some still do. <laughs> well, they may think they own them, but women are definitely the superior race. <laughs> Flatterer. <laughs> well, you certainly don't need me anymore. Not if you can write like this. I couldn't do this without you, though, John. Of course you could. Well, I would like to hang on to you for a bit, just till I feel a bit more confident. Well, it's your money. Although, I must admit, I really enjoy our sessions. Do you? So do I. <laughs> There we are, love. Cheers. Yes, Hayley, what can I get you? Um, a glass of white wine, please. Not often we see you in here drinking on your own. Is it a crime? Oh, no, I was just saying. Learning. Any chance of, you know, giving me a hand any time soon? Weddings don't plan themselves, love. Right. 
Here we are, two twenty, please. Thanks. Vernon. Hmm? You know, we were talking before about having a theme for a wedding. Mm. Saturday night fever. <laughs> we're only having a laugh, though, aren't we? No, I wasn't. Ah, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Listen, I thought I'd be in the top hat and tails and you in summer gorgeous. Oh, well. <laughs> Can't spend too much, though. Hey, nothing is too much for my lady. You, you, you have whatever you want, love. Money, no object. Drinking alone. Not you and all. Can't a person have a bit of peace without fucking beating things into it? Didn't know doves were your cup of tea. Not some at Christian's in to any chance. It's not working, is it? What? You doing what Roy wants just because you feel guilty? You're dying to see Christian, so just tell Roy that's what you're doing and he'll get over it. No, he won't. Well, you won't get over not seeing your son, neither, so what are you going to do? Do you know what? I give up. You two want your heads banging together. I don't want to leave her on her own too long, so I'm just going to pick a few things out. How is she? What are you doing here? They never let you out. They give me a formal warning. And that's it? And it'll go on my record. And that makes up for me nearly losing my child. Is that all she's worth, a ticking off? Look, Sarah, if I could go to prison, yes, I would, all right? Anything to make up for you it. You can't do anything to make up for it. I hate you. I will never forgive you. Mum, when Bethany's better, I'm packing and I'm leaving with her. I'm sorry, I can't live here with him. Oh, don't you worry. He's the one that's going. Go and pack your stuff. You what? You heard. Well, come on, don't be daft. Fine. I'll pack it for you. Tell you what, you should try and see some Shakespeare. How did they do it on DVD? No, I meant theatre. Oh, right. In fact, I think Henry V is on in town. Why don't you try and get some tickets? That would be great, cos then you could talk me through it. Oh, sorry, I, I thought you meant for both of us. I'm sure you'd rather go with Kevin. Of course I would, yeah. Uh, there's no way he would, or any of my mates. And uh, I wouldn't really want to go on my own. Oh, it doesn't matter, John. I, I probably wouldn't be able to make any sense of it anyway. Of course you would. Look, I suppose I could come with you. I quite fancy it, to be honest. Great. All right, well, shall I get us two tickets, then? Why not? OK. Hiya, <sighs> oh, yeah, you're right. Hey, don't worry, I'll see myself out. Great. So what do you fancy watching tonight, then? Oh, I don't mind, Kev, you choose. Kevin, you haven't seen that fur jacket, you know, the one I bought in a charity shop? I'm sure I've seen it in a cupboard somewhere. She don't mean it, you know. She's... She's just bluffing. We'll see. Where am I supposed to go? I don't care. I just want you out. Um, I know you're upset and angry and I don't... I'm not you. angry. I've done angry. I'm just past caring. I mean, isn't something childish like playing truant or not turning up for your exams? It's not even something nasty like them cards you sent. Something much worse. So 
I want you to go. And I want you to stay away until you can prove you've changed your ways. So go on. You've just been waiting for someone like this to come along, and you? Any old excuse just to get rid of me? Don't you dare try and make me feel guilty! I didn't want any of this! You brought it all on yourself! Now get out! Next on ITV1, the Bell Identity Fraud. Then at nine... She has your love, David. It's the weirdest thing. You didn't see her today. You won't ever see her again. Our daughter is dead. I saw her. A new drama series, Torn. <laughs>